Okay. So actually, uh, when we say uh, last meeting, we discussed already this, uh, the, about the simple interest, no? And this time the topic is all uh, covered about uh, simple interest and simple discount actually, no? So again, uh, when we say simple interest, as what we discussed last meeting, no? Uh, it costs to borrow money, so. The rent one pays for the use of money is called the interest. And the amount of money that is being borrowed or loaned is called the principal or present value. Again, simple interest is paid only on the original amount borrowed. So when the money is loaned out, the person who borrows the money generally pays a fixed rate of interest on the principal for the time period he keeps the money. So although... The interest rate is open specified for a year. So it may be specified for a week, a month, or a quarter and others. So let's say, for example, the credit card companies open uh, this, their charges as monthly rates. Sometimes it is high as 1.5% per month. So we have already some uh, formulas no, given last meeting about simple interest. So if an amount P is borrowed for time, is T, uh, an interest rate of R, per time period, then the simple uh, interest is given by I is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T as what we discussed last meeting. We have also what we called accumulated value as what we discussed last meeting. And uh, I'll give you a lot of examples now with computations now based on the given video that we uh, that I presented. Now. Then uh, when we say discount and uh, proceeds, now, uh, Bank opens deduct the simple interest from the loan amount at that time that the loan is made. So when this happens, we say the loan has been discounted. The interest that is deducted is called the discount. And the actual amount that is given to the borrower is called the proceeds. So the amount the borrower is obligated to repay is called the maturity value. Okay? So I will show you a video presentation also. Uh, to give you some examples no, and insights that are related to the simple discount. And uh, a sort of review, actually, when it comes to our discussion last meeting related to simple interest. Okay? So if you have some questions, of course, uh, and if you wanted to add some additional inputs no, related to the topic, uh, don't, don't hesitate to post your additional inputs in our chat box. Then later on, we will address all your concerns. Okay? So... So this this will be a discussion of a simple discount actually, no? I need to close my uh, video uh, because uh, as you can see here, no, nakaharang siya, no? Hi, everybody. This video is going to comprise of three examples. Three examples on simple discount. Now, let's go with the first example. A bank charges a simple discount rate of 10% per annum for a note due in six months. Calculate the future value of the note if the amount on of the discount is $50. So straight away, we know discount is 50. What else do we have? Simple discount rate is 10% per annum. And your time is six months. So six on 12 years, right? Because you want these two, your rate and your time to be in the same time units. Let's draw out our diagram. Discount, future value, your discount rate and your time. You want to find your future value. So shade that out and your future value formula will then be discount on discount rate multiplied by time. That's 50 on your discount rate, which is 10%, multiplied by 6 on 12. Essentially, your answer is 1,000, and that is your future value. Calculate the simple discount rate of $1,000 during 6 months if the amount of discount is 50. So we know discount is 50. We also know that the future value is 1,000 and T is 6 on 12 years. We want to find 
to simple disk camera. So let's draw our diagram. D, future value, discount rate, and time. Let's scratch out the discount rate because that's what we're trying to find. The discount rate must equal what's left, so discount on future value multiplied by time. That's 50 on 1000 multiplied by 6 on 12. Your answer is 10% per annum. Last example. A treasury bill is maturing with $1,000 of face value and $50 discount. Use a simple discount rate of 10% per annum to calculate the maturity of this treasury in months. So we're trying to find time. So it's maturing with $1,000 face value. Face value is just another way of saying future value. So your future value or face value is 1000. Your discount is 50. And your discount rate is 10% per annum. Draw out your diagram. This diagram seems to be getting bigger and bigger every time I draw it. <laughs> Here we are. Future value. Discount. Time. We want to find time. Time must equal to discount on your face value multiplied by a discount rate. That is 50 on 1000 times your discount rate, which is 10%. That is equal to 0 0.5. But they want it in months. So this is 0 0.5 years because your rate was in years. So we just need to convert this into months. Naturally, six months. Thank you for watching this video. This will be another example, no? Uh, because I think uh, we could be able to understand it well if we have a lot of examples. No? Today we're going to talk about simple discount. And the way I'm going to talk about it is in reference to simple interest. So if you guys haven't watched that video or you guys don't know what simple interest is, please watch that one before this one. But let's get into it. In simple interest, you invest P, and through using P, you determine the amount of interest that you're going to earn during this period. Simple discount is almost the opposite. Simple discount uses your future value to determine how much discount you would earn during this period. So that is the key difference. Discount, you use the future value instead of the initial value. So your Simple interest formula is your P multiplied by your simple interest rate multiplied by T. Your simple discount formula is D equals your future value. Your future value multiplied by a discount rate multiplied by time. You see, it's very similar. And the key difference is it's using the future value and it's using a discount rate. Now, Let's go into the different variations of discount and how you can find each of these variables. Now, very similar to your simple interest, you can use a diagram. So let's say in a scenario where you wanted to find discount. You can find it by simply shading it out and looking at what's left. D must equal to future value multiplied by your discount rate multiplied by your time. In a scenario where you wanted to find out the future value, look at what's left. Future value must equal to discount on top of your discount rate multiplied by time. In a scenario where you needed to find out your discount rate, your discount rate equals discount amount on future value multiplied by time. In a scenario where you needed to find time, 
your time is equal to discount on future value multiplied by your discount rate. Now, this rule that I'm just about to mention is the same rule as your simple interest. Your rate, so let's write down the formula first. Discount is future value multiplied by your discount rate multiplied by time. Your discount rate and your time must always be in the same units, in the same time units. So if you guys, if you guys get, come across a scenario where your T is six months, that means it is six on 12 years, right? And I've illustrated this in a previous video, so I'm not going to get into it with too many details, yeah? Now, let's go through an example. Calculate the discount amount if your future value is 1,000, discount rate is 10% per annum, and your T is 6 months. Brilliant. We have an example here. Future value is 1,000. Your discount rate is 10% per annum. And your T is 6 on 12 years. See, now they're in the same time units. And all we need to do is draw out our little diagram. We know D is on the top. Future value, got our discount rate, and we got our time. We want to find our discount amount. Shade that out. What we have left is our formula, which is face value multiplied by your discount rate multiplied by time. 1,000 multiplied by 10% multiplied by 6 on 12. Your discount amount is therefore $50. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, I just want to reiterate once again, uh, uh, when we say, so when we say discount, now again, uh, I'll just want to give an example now with regards to bank. No? Banks open, deduct the simple interest from the loan amount at the time that the loan is made. Okay, when this happens, we say the loan has been deducted. No, so the interest that is deducted is called the discount. Okay, the interest that is deducted is called the discount, and the actual amount that is given to borrower is called the proceeds. No, so the amount, the amount the borrower is obligated to repay is called the maturity value. Okay, so as simple as that. So most commonly, especially if you are familiar with CCBY 4.0, no, uh, this will be a software available for us to compute the simple interest and discount, no, with regards to the remix and or curated, no, uh, it was edited actually by the styling standard, no, and detailed history of us available, no, for the computation of simple interest and discount. Even in ano, Microsoft Excel, no, it's too easy for us to compute the simple interest and simple discount. There are some available uh, formulas no, in Microsoft Excel. No? Uh, <clears throat> I just want to share my screen again. So let's say formula, more functions. I sorry, I I not able to share my screen. No. <clears throat> so let's say for example, no, in Microsoft Excel. So what you're gonna just simply to open your Microsoft Excel, let's say for example, then click the formula, no, then more functions. So more, more most commonly, you will be able to uh, see the latest, no, the most recent views, no, like if we look up and so on. But if you wanted to look into some additional uh Computations available in Microsoft Excel. You just simply click arrow down, no? Then most commonly you'll be able to see the financial, no? Most commonly in financial actually, no? Date in time, math and trigonometry. Let's say, for example, in math trigonometry, 
no? most commonly the degrees, the fact, the and so on and so forth. No? And most commonly, uh, let's say, for example, for statistics, no? we have also a computation using statistics here. But of course, as what I mentioned earlier, it's this financial. No? So we have a lot of uh, available formulas no? and ab available applications here in our Microsoft Excel. Okay, so we have the PB, we have the rate, we have the and so on and so forth. Okay, so we could able naman to utilize the Microsoft Excel if you want to, no, rather than using Microsoft Word, I Microsoft, ano, a calculator rather, and or even mano mano yung manual computations. So if you wanted to make it faster, you are allowed to use calculator or even Microsoft Excel. And actually, there are some available uh, software applications, no, ready to uh, calculate. Although kaya lang, uh, you're not able to learn. If you don't, uh, ano, uh, make it, uh, ano, one by one or step by step, na, because you're not able to understand the logic on how you'll be able to get that uh, output. But let's say, for example, you do it manually, no, uh, one by one, step by step, you'll be able to, uh, maybe the process will retain in your mind, and you will be able to understand, uh, fully, no, on how you'll be able to commit the simple interest and simple discount. Okay. So I think that's it for this topic and we may proceed to uh, compound interest. Huh?